Shakespeare's in-flight safety video. Pretty and well met, thou tempestuous witch of storms to alight so delicately upon the jet streams of the cerulean sky. Welcome to Spirit Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Thou now beholdest the bard of Avon. Behold, twixt either side of you, the ends of your safety belt. Be ever so good as to connect them at the joining place, lest we crash into the mountainside and verily thou skull is split upon the dining tray before thee. Also, thou shalt notice two <laughs> emergency exits. <laughs> verily. Okay, so everyone looks at Candyland and they see a mythical place, all right? A lot of work has got to happen to make this run on time. You think Peanut butter swamp doesn't have infrastructural issues. You dreaming, the dudes gotta go put the pipes in to bring the peanut butter to the swamp. All right, and that's where Fredo comes in, baby. I'm still getting over it, Bray. You, you still like you asked Matt, like, when did the world feel done? And Matt Stone Cold went, it doesn't. With this <laughs> right here. It's Folks, get it at your local gaming store, Taldari Reborn. <laughs> if that's not done, and this is a continent, folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one continent. Yeah. They got Wild Mount, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not done, I'm just gonna go home. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Take it, yeah. man. What the fuck? <laughs> not done? <laughs> <laughs> I got three months between seasons, okay? <laughs> Welcome to uh, Biggityburg. Here we go. It's a new town. This is the new season. You whackity schmackity do 10 episodes. Help me. <laughs> you listen here. I may have lost part of my brain in a Wolverine attack, but I know one thing and one thing for sure, and that is the blockchain is the future of currency. <laughs> You think, oh, fiat currency, you want state-backed dollars? What could be better than a completely unaccountable system of absolute strangers and con artists assembled together in a bizarre crypto-fascist commune? We already know that these currencies are being used to fund neo-Nazi and far-right organizations. If you're legitimately considering using these things, there's something fucking wrong with you. I'm going to get you off before no, this, this, is fucking this is going to become... This is going to become... Where's the process? Give it to me. about that? You know what I always hated about you, Amathar? Oh. <gasps> you were so... Damn lucky. I mean, fifth in line for the throne and the crown rests on your head, and each of your sisters better and more clever than you. It really makes the unfortunate minor lord of a less than wealthy barony feel, I don't know, a little underwhelming. Oh. I'll say your sisters were a little bit less lucky. The least lucky thing that ever happened to Rococo was when she found out that I was selling weapons to the Ceresians. That, that had to be dealt with. And I think you'll remember how strange it was that she was found riddled with arrows so far behind our own lines. But that's war and strange things happen all the time. The Ceresians I find are very reasonable. Very reasonable, and you can see some of their tents out here in the field. Oh my god, all along he's cake, he's part, oh my god. You know, <laughs> I don't have luck, so I have to work. I have to work a lot. First, I had to put the little cheese boy onto the scent of the uh, Duchess cold bottle, and I had to ferry his idiot sailors all the way up the Sucrosi Road to that little farmhouse. I mean, I had to get them there somehow. They couldn't sail there, could they? And they would be so suspicious walking up the road. And yet, you miraculously survive when you should have died. Amathar the Unfallen. 
you uncharacteristically leave a fight. You jump out of the ring rather than trying to behead that carrot. And they call the tournament, even with all the work that me and Alfredi put into getting those water steel daggers into her hands. I, I thought I was going to fail. And then, and then your friend Manta Ray Jack mentioned a girl at the banquet stashed somewhere in the Derry Islands. And I thought, that's so interesting. Amethar and I are best friends, war buddies as far back as we can remember. Why would he never tell me? And I got to thinking, Amethar was never quiet about his exploits as a roving prince of Candia. So why didn't I hear about this girl? And I thought I'd better talk with Manta Ray Jack. He didn't want to talk, but a few fingers and pints of blood later, we remembered your sister's book. Very useful, your sister. Very useful indeed. Up until a young Elizabeth Brassica ordered her run down in the street by vegetarian knights. That, that hurt because she had always been very sweet to me. Well, after Manta Ray, you saw an opportunity. You know, it hurts to have all of your plans fail, but they say that improvisation is the better part of planning. So I was happy to take advantage of that opportunity when it presented itself, Amethar. You know what happens to a man when he dies? He shits himself. So I'll be happy to watch you shit one last time. Ah, okay, are <laughs> we? Can I tell did you we what? Think the we thing were was? in on it, but actually, Brennan <laughs> is the only one in on it, and that was rehearsed. <laughs> that was an incredible monologue, Brennan. What is the rule of the game? Can we all I say it? cannot win! That is correct, Brennan! You cannot win the game! Uh... <laughs> Did we all get crowns? Uh, we only got two.